Today, I'm going to make some scallops. And the recipe that I'm going to be using comes from this book by Barefoot Contessa, uh, Barefoot in Paris. And the recipe is scallops provençal. And um, I don't have all the ingredients, but I'm going to use this as a basis for what I'm going to make tonight with what I have. So I bought some scallops at the farmer's market and they've been in my freezer for a week. So I'm hoping uh, they're not all stuck together. They are stuck together. <laughs> They've been in my uh, refrigerator defrosting for maybe about four hours or so. So they do, it almost cuts like mm, cheese or butter. Um, not as smooth as butter, I would say like a harder cheese, but it's still, it's still workable. I think this is going to be a more realistic uh, depiction of what happens in people's kitchens. Um, not everything is always fresh. So with these scallops, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly cover them in some flour and then dress them up very simply with just a little bit of salt, pepper, and lemon. At least that's the goal. And then the idea is once kind of cover these up in flour. Again, you could always put this in like a plastic bag and shake it around. I try not to use many things that are, are wasteful. Um, so just do it in this bowl. Just make sure to wash your hands afterwards. Just so that they're lightly covered in flour. So then I'm going to um, heat up a skillet with some butter and we're going to fry these up. Go really nicely with these scallops is an onion. So I'm going to cut up um, one small onion. The recipe calls for a shallot, which obviously is more French. Um, I don't have them readily available in my refrigerator. And so I'm going to use what I have, and that's an onion. So I'm going to chop up one onion, and then um, I have garlic. So I'm just going to skin that. So I think it would be nice if the onion and the garlic are frying in the pan for a few minutes before I add the scallops. So that's going to be the plan. If you don't have any of this, you could certainly add whatever herbs you have. Um, I'm going to probably add some dill on top of this if you happen to have any parsley, um, tarragon, whatever, whatever things that you have, vegetables that you think um, 
would pair nicely with scallops. Um, go for it. And show you the the action of what's happening here. This is a one man show, so I control the camera, the editing, the food, everything. So it is uh, it's a lot of work to manage. All right, so we're gonna let these cook for um, just maybe a minute or two before I add the scallops. And while that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the additional ingredients um, that I'm going to add. So I have some dill that's really on edge. Um, I hate wasting things, so we're going to use <laughs> as much as I can out of this. But I think that having dill always adds you know, a bit of... Um, Taste of the sea, let's say. All right. I think the rest of the dill is pretty much gone, so I'm not going to use that. And then we'll use lemon. And that will come at the end. Scallops actually cook pretty quickly. So once I put them in the pan, I mean, most sea seafood cooks pretty quickly. Um, but once I put them in the pan, they'll be done. I mean, certainly within 10 minutes or so. And add just a little bit more butter. And if you need, um, if you want a recommendation, I do think that having butter imported from Europe, you know, this butter is from Poland. Um, the, the European butter has more fat you know, it's more, you know, it's a richer flavor. Um, and so if you are looking for something a little bit more decadent than what you might get at an American grocery store, um, look for European butter and that will certainly um, maybe add a little bit of an oomph to your, your dishes.
So the recipe calls for um, a third of a cup of white wine, assuming that you have a pound of scallops. I do not have a pound of scallops. And I also don't have um, a bottle of white wine that I feel like opening. So instead, um, I'm going to use this, um, this bottle of burr that I was recently introduced to the last time I went to my local liquor store. And it's um, kind of like a port, but more the medicinal flavor profile. And, um, you know, it pairs well with gin. Um, you know, you can certainly make it in a lot of um, mixed drinks and cocktails, obviously. But this is going to be an experiment. This is my first time actually using it in cooking. Um, so just going to add a little bit there. And then I'm going to top it off with some, um, some lemon juice. And I feel like that will be a perfect way to start the evening. So as you can see, even though I have these in my freezer, they do look still quite appetizing after preparing them. And you know, if you do see fresh seafood and you can't use it that day, don't fear that you can't um, freeze it. You can certainly can freeze it, you know, and uh, I, I always have a few pieces of seafood in my freezer just in case um, I'm craving something and don't feel like going out. All right, look at that. So again, scallops, super easy to make, very expensive at restaurants, but um, you can make uh, these scallop dishes for a fraction of what you would pay at a restaurant. I mean, clearly at a restaurant, this would easily go for 30 or $40. I did not spend that money um, on these ingredients. And so keep that in mind. If you learn how to cook, you'll be able to give yourself way better food for cheaper price than you ever would. Wondering what to eat the scallops with. Um, they're great by themselves, but tonight I'm going to have my scallops with some pasta just so I have a little bit of carb along with the delicious buttery texture and taste of the scallops. So again, this is very flexible perfect by itself, but if you want to pair it with rice or pasta or something like that, it can certainly work well. I would say add um, more liquid, you know, if you happen to have wine, cook more wine just so then you can use that as an additional sauce and infuse the essence of the scallops into that sauce. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, as always, I appreciate when you like and subscribe to my content and when you share my content with your friends and, uh, you know, let other people know the work that I'm doing and um, feel free to leave a comment if there's certain things that you want me to cook, you want to see. Um, I'm always up for learning new recipes and challenging myself that way.